Hi guys, Raisa here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do an update video on the haul I made. I will just link that video below or up there. That is the haul on the Miniso a few Sephora skincare products, Merending makeup. Yun yung random haul natin. And I will do the update right now. I will try to upload update video for uh, the hauls we make. Uh, just so we don't keep things hanging para lang meron tayo update kung ano na ba yung uh, I feel ko about the product, kung ano yung experience ko about the products. And also, I am going to feature my Miniso review right here because I don't plan to upload my first impression review kasi sobrang gulo nung video na yun. Um, it's a video that's full of just things that doesn't work. So, hindi ko na lang siya upload kasi parang full of hate yung video. Well, well, I don't hate the products because hate is just a strong word. I don't hate makeup. I mean, I don't hate any of the products in there, but a lot of it does not work for me at least. So, 50% or almost um, siguro 70% ng mga items hindi siya nag-work. So, so, what we're going to do is just to categorize them. The good, the okay, and the bad. So, yung mga good, yung mga best, yung mga holy grail stuff, and the uh, Yung middle, yung mga okay lang siya, it could work, yung mga meh, and then for the last categories, yung mga hindi talaga nag-work on my skin type, and just doesn't work for me. So let's start off with a good, yung mga holy grail status ng mini. So I have here first the eyeliner. Oh, I only have three, anyway. So first is the eyeliner, ito yung silver pen nila. And as you can see, it has a very, very, very fine tip, and it dries down to a matte finish no? so you don't need to dry it up uh, hindi siya magbabudge all throughout the day it's really long lasting on me at least and it's not a pain in the butt to remove so gustong gusto ko siya for 99 pesos super okay yung quality I, I think I have pictured this on one of my faves video already so check my um, playlist down below ililink ko yung favorites video ko and I mentioned this and I explained thoroughly kung bakit it's worth 99 it dries down to a matte finish it has a very fine tip which gives you a full control of the cat eye or the eyeliner that you're going to do. This has quickly become one of the best items I have discovered for 2017. Next one is their nail polish topper. This is in the shade golden. Ito yung nasa ganitong packaging kasi dalawa yung um, packaging ng kanilang nail polish. Yung isa yung merong silver cap. This one is in the pink one. Pink cap. It turns out my cream nail polishes, my plain nail polishes, into something really nice. So I love this one. Worth 99 also. I think two for 99 yung mga nail polishes nila. And the next item, yung third item ko for the good category, is the Apple Flavored Nail Polish Cleansing Wipes. It works. It works for me. Dinis ni si Ryan Coco ko. Tinatanggal niya effectively yung nail polish. It just do what you expect it to do. So, gusto gusto ko siya. We will get two packs for 99 pesos so you, you can't ask for more. Mas gusto ko nga lang sa Sansan is mas malaki yung pads niya. But, dun sa Sansan, I think you will only get 32 sheets or 32 pads. In here, you will be getting 48 pieces. So, really good deal. Next category natin is yung mga okay products. Yung mga meh, pwede na. Yung mga you can work out with them but you just have to work a little bit harder. Yung mga items na they are not the worst but yet they are still not on the best list. So I only have two to mention and this is their eyeliner and their blusher. First is their eyeliner. No, not the eyeliner. It's the brow pencil. First is their bl brow pencil. It has a spoolie on the other hand and it's um, like the Anastasia brow, brow definer. Yung triangle yung kanyang shape. Uh, so this is actually a dupe for the Etude House and I think Holika Holika has also a pencil that looks like this one. They have the same quality, kaya siya naging okay product kasi if you're going to buy the Etude House, just buy this one kasi 99 pesos lang to. And I think the Etude House and um, the Holika Holika, Holika, Holika will um, cost you around 300 or 200 plus, I'm not quite sure. Pero, Okay na rin to for 99. You can work this out. Yun lang medyo patchy sa akin and I have to really work hard in shaping my brows. Ayoko lang yung pigment niya. It's just too patchy and not pigmented. Well, not pigmented to the point na ayoko rin naman kasi ng super pigmented na brow pencil. Pero yung pigment niya kasi you have to really work hard for it to to be there. So, yun. Yun lang ayoko sa kanya. But, it's an okay. Again, okay lang siya. You can work it out. Uh, pwede siya. Pwede siyang magamit. So, if you're looking for a cheaper, retractable, and merong spoolie, pwede niyo tong itry. Next is their blusher. It's a very pigmented blush. So, for my skin tone, hindi ito very flattering because it's super vava boom on my skin type. But for morena girls, I think this would really, really work out. 
uh, this would look gorgeous on them. Pero yun nga, uh, una yung kanyang shade selection. I only found one shade doon sa Miniso branch na pinuntahan ko. So, comment below kung mas marami pang shade. Her pink one, it's actually loud. Sa camera, parang hindi siya ganun ka-loud, but it's louder than my lipstick in person. So, yeah. This is very pigmented. Ping naging pwede siya kasi namimili siya ng skin tone. So, kung, mer kung morena kayo and you're looking for a 99 peso blush, which I think nothing beats that. I think yung mga Everbelena, that would cost you 100 plus pa yung mga blushes nila. This is 99 pesos. So, kung naghahanap kayo ng murang blush, okay na rin to. It's not patchy at all. Uh, para siyang quality ng City Colors Be Matte Blush. Glides down really smooth, pero hindi siya long-lasting. Para sa akin, para sa akin lang naman. Baka doon sa iba, they, they would last. Pero sa akin, kapag pinunasan ko na yung mukha ko, nawawala na rin siya. But if you don't have any problem on reapplying it within the day, you can work it out. Now, dako tayo dun sa mga hindi nag-workout sa akin, which is the majority of my haul. Kaya hindi ko in-upload yung video ko on first impressions kasi I feel like it's just, it would be a total waste of your time, guys. So, napanoorin yun. Kaya, ito na lang muna. Well, almost everything right here. First is their nail polish. This line, I love this one, but this one, I don't like it. It really chips uh, fast on me. Nung no, wala nilagay ko siya sa kamay, nag-chip siya kagad. And then, so I thought, baka dahil sa kamay ko siya nilagay. I mean, my hands have more activity than my feet. So, nilagay ko siya sa, as my pedicure. Ganun pa rin siya. Nag-chip out, nag-chip fast pa rin siya. So, it's just, the formula is not for me. It's their Color Stay Lipstick. Uh, this is in the shade 04 or pink. I think meron silang red. And maybe meron pa silang ibang shade. And this is not long-lasting at all. This will fade on your lips for the first five minutes you applied it and I'm not even eating I'm not talking I'm just doing the first impressions and yeah it just it fades away but just gone within five minutes so I don't think I can work out fine with a lip product that's not even gonna last me for 30 minutes so siguro kaya hindi siya long lasting kasi super glossy na kanyang finish as in super glossy para ka kumain ng lechon para siyang ganun next one is their long curl long lasting curling mascara this is really long lasting pero ang ayoko sa kanya um nagkakaroon siya ng spider feet uh, look on your eyelashes spider feet meaning pagka inapply mo siya parang nagbububo siya as in hindi siya smooth and flowing and volumized para siyang nagkakaroon ng hiwa-hiwalay it's really really wet and it's goopy goopiness na nagaganap sa kanya. Parang, uh, yeah, parang may goopy effect na so, just, it's not my thing. It's super sticky on my lashes and it dries down for like 30 minutes. Next is their eyeshadow. The three color eyeshadow. This is very, very, very glittery. And ang hirap kunin ng pigment niya. Okay sana yung ano, okay sana yung kanyang shade selection. It gives me the modern renaissance vibe. Parang ganun siya. No? Pero, Super chunky, super glittery, sobrang hindi siya pigmented. So, that explains it. I can't use it. I won't dwell on it. Um, it's one of these worst items from Miniso. Next is this two combination right here. The Hydro Light BB Cream. It's their BB Cream and I think they only have one shade. So, this is very, very light on me and it has a very, very pink undertone. Para siyang mena. Alam niyo ba yun? Yung parang ina-apply na skincare na... Sobrang puti and sobrang pink. Para siyang may pagka... Um, paano ba? Pagka sunscreen, lotion-y feel na hindi siya kagad nagda-dry down. And it's too pink on me. I can't work the shade. I can't work the formula. It breaks down, especially on my nose area and on my cheek area right here. So, ang bilis niya mag-cake up on me. So, it's just not good. And for a BB cream, parang formula to ng isang thick foundation. It's not a formula of a BB cream at all. It feels really boozy and really cakey on my skin. Not good. And the pressed powder. I was actually rooting for this one. It actually feels really good. It feels smooth on the touch. Pero for some reason, it makes my dryness come out. So, sobrang halata ng mga dry patches ko right here and right here and guys, I have dry skin. So, kung meron kayong oily skin, pwede sigurong i-work out ito. Pero for me, it just, it didn't work out for me. And it's not transparent at all. It's not a translucent powder. Meron siyang konting coverage, which turns it off, turns me off. Kasi sobrang puti niya. And the combination of these two is just too, it's just too much for me. Super depressing. Kaya hindi ko in-upload yung video. So, dako tayo dun sa aking Sephora skincare. I only have four items right here from Sephora. 
kung naaalala nyo guys, pinili ko itong um, tatlong to doon sa haul na yun. So, so, first is their Ultra Repair Cream. You know guys, you know that I love this one. This saved my skin from the dryness it got from the beach na pinuntahan ko. And it's really an ultra repair. It's like a spa for my skin. Um, especially for those with dry skin. This is not a, this is not a moisturizer for you to apply makeup with. Hindi siya super light moisturizer. It's an an intense moisturizer. It works well kapag matutulog na. Yung iiwan mo na lang siya sa mukha mo. Also, I have um, few rushes, few um, bumps on my skin dahil nga summer at kung ano-anong nagsisilitawan sa skin ko dahil sa sobrang init. This also helped me smoothen that out. So, if you have problematic skin, kung meron kayong um, rushes, bumps, or anything that needs uh, ultra moisturizing, okay na okay to. I highly suggest. I think I featured this on my April faves. I really enjoy, I, I really enjoy this one. It just cleanses my skin without drying it out. So, ganun yung mga gusto kong um, face cleanser, yung mga nakakapagpalilis talaga siya ng skin mo na hindi niya naman dila dry out yung, yung mukha. This one is the Facial Radiance Pad. I don't like it, guys. I don't like it. Round pads na parang yung cotton pads na soak siya sa toner. Ganun yung itsura niya. And this one claims to exfoliate and tone and brighten your skin at the same time. I, I don't know. Nasasaktan yung skin ko sa kanya. Maybe that's the reason why I don't use any toner for my night routine, yung aking skincare routine. I don't use any toner kasi sobrang nahahapdian yung skin ko sa mga toner. Alam mo yung after ng facial cleanser and makeup remover, yung ang sarap-sarap sa pakiramdam nang nawala yung makeup mo, tas biglang lalagyan mo ng toner tas hahapde. Parang ganun yung experience ko sa kanya. So, I don't really like it. This is not for me. Mario Badescu Skin Care. Uh, it's the enzyme cleansing gel. So, this is a cleansing gel. It's a facial gel. And I like it. I like it. It's actually really gentle. Meron siyang ano, uh, alam niyo yung Johnson's Baby Shampoo. Parang ganun yung amoy niya. It smells really fragrant and I love it. It's really mild for my skin. It also does not lather pero meron siyang scent. It's not scent free at all. And it's really refreshing on the skin. Gusto gusto ko to ginagamit uh, after I wake up so every morning. So ito yung ginagamit kong cleanser because it's a simple cleanser that actually does good on my skin. It does not dry out my skin. So I love it. I also included on that video the LA Girl Pro Coverage um, Foundation and I also already did my first impression. Yeah, I think that's a first impression. I already did my first impressions review on this one. I will just link it below, so just check that out. I really like this foundation. I like it. Next is the NARS Orgasm. It's their famous blush. Marami siyang chunks of glitters. As in, chunks of glitters. Aside from its glitter, wala na akong reklamo sa blush na to. And its price. So aside from the glitter and the price, wala akong reklamo dito. Um, it's very, very, very long-lasting on my skin. It it lasts me for 8 hours. As in, buong, buong trabaho sa opisina, buong araw, andun siya sa aking skin. It is a universal shade. So wala rin akong reklamo sa shade. And wala rin akong reklamo sa shade selection ng NARS um, blushes. Pero ang ayaw ko lang talaga sa kanya yung glitters na nandun sa kanya. So it tends to fall out on my chin area and... That's just the only thing that's holding me from liking this one. It's the glitters. But aside from that, the luminosity you'll get, the freshness you will get when you apply this one, okay na okay siya. And also the longevity. The Glot Duraline, this is also included on that haul and I love it. I, parang hindi ko siya ginagamit you guys. Sobrang puno pa nung lalagyan. Um, but I use this very, very constantly. Especially when I'm using uh, pomades, I'm using my Maybelline Bad to the Bronze and also the potted eyeshadows from Colourpop. Ganun yung mga pinagagamitin ko nito. And also, you can turn anything that's matte, like the foundation, into something dewy when you apply a few drops of the Duraline. Also included is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in the shade Opal. I like it. I like it so much. Uh, Noong una, kala ko, ano to, highlighter challenge. Parang ganun yung kakalabasan niya sa skin, but it does not at all. It actually just pumps up a little dewiness on your, um, foundation, especially when you have matte foundation. And, and this one, I also tried it. Just the Too Faced Papa Don't Peach. Papa Don't Peach. It's a gorgeous shade. Pero parang dupe siya ng luminoso, in my opinion. It looks like luminoso. And this will definitely work out on a pinay skin tone. Ayoko lang sa kanya yung kanyang scent. Uh, meron siyang, ano, meron siyang gummy bear scent na I'm not a fan of. So if you love gummy bears and if you love peachy artificial scents. Magugusta sa'yo to. Nakakahiya mang sabihin pero hindi ko pa nagamit yung blush nito and yung bronzer nito. So, I don't really have a verdict on the blush and the bronzer. But the highlighter, I used it today. This is what it looks like. So, so nice. Ang ganda ng kanyang highlight because it's a very unique shade. It's like a champagne shade with a pinch of 
peachiness on it. Parang ganun yung kanyang shade and I don't have anything like this. So it's really exciting and I love it. I love the highlighter on this palette. Pero yung blush and bronzer, hindi ko pa na-try. The bronzer, I think, won't work out on me. Very picky ako sa bronzer because I don't really bronze and I don't really do contour. But I don't think this shade will work out for me. It's sobrang, sobrang light ng shade na to. Really a neutral brown. It's almost my skin tone. So I don't think that will work out. And I have high hopes for the blush. But for the blush, I am loving really the Papadol Peach. So those are my updates. Yung mga hindi ko na feature dito, hindi ko pa nagamit. Nakakahayaman sabihin. Pero just let me know guys down below kung sa akin lang ba hindi nag-workout yung mga products ng Miniso. Especially their BB cream and their powder. And... What are you doing to work it out? But I will try to do this video constantly para sa mga haul, especially yung last haul natin, which is, I think, a skincare, skincare haul. So, so I hope this video is helpful. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give me a like. Don't forget to comment below kung ano yung mga gusto nyo itry, kung ano yung mga natayin nyo na. And yeah, just comment below anything. And also, don't forget to click the little bell button for notifications. And subscribe if you haven't already. See you in my next video, guys. Always remember, be beautiful, be you. Bye! So definitely, so ship, ng ship, ship. Ang ganon yung formula. It's not a formula of a baby, baby. It's it has a very it's a, it's a click the little bell button for don't for don't forget to good.